Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna dive into one of my favorite breakfast meal preps, which is the egg scramble and sweet potato mash. If you are excited about that, go ahead and like this video and go ahead and subscribe to the channel for me. Let's go ahead and get started. So I like to start off by chopping up some of my vegetables. And those vegetables here, we're gonna start off with are the mushrooms. Now with some of my scrambles, I like to be a little fancy and add mushrooms. I think it really helps with the flavor and it adds just a little bit extra chunkiness to the scrambles. I'm gonna show you what else I like to put in my scrambles, which are the red and green peppers, tomatoes, of course, because I love tomatoes, and an egg, along with the liquid egg whites. Here I am chopping up all of the vegetables that I'm gonna be putting into the scramble. Now for me personally, I do like my vegetables chopped pretty small. So you'll see me really going to town on the peppers and the mushrooms and tomatoes and everything because I try to dice everything up as much as possible. Just because for me, I really like those, I like being able to put everything in like bite-sized pieces. If I can try to get everything on the fork at the same time, I feel like I'm winning. So I don't like to make anything too big um, when it comes to this, just because I don't feel like it's really necessary for this type of dish. I'm gonna be totally and completely honest with y'all. Here, I have no clue what I'm doing. I just kind of had been kind of thinking that I know how to dice up a tomato the correct way, and I just have no clue what's going on with my life right now. But I've kind of found like this super fast system how I can just kind of cut it up in different directions and dice it up without having to take too much time with it. And perhaps it would have been a little bit more successful had the tomato not, um, been so soft but it is a soft tomato and I still don't know what I'm doing but I'm just making y'all think that I know what I'm doing but anyway I was able to get everything diced up rather quickly so I feel like I did an okay job again we're feeling kind of fancy so I went ahead and added a little bit of parsley to this um to this dish I just felt like I just kind of felt like I really wanted to embellish it a little bit you know why not be a little bit fancy and just add a little something extra to it once in a while so this is everything chopped up ready to go ready to hit the skillet so I'm going to start off this uh, scramble by using a little bit of the coconut oil if you guys have watched any of my previous meal prep videos I use coconut oil um, I go back and forth between this one and olive oil so I'm going to go ahead and um, stir in my vegetables we're gonna go ahead and get those going I like to be able to stir these up for quite a while as well I like to be able to uh, brown my my peppers a little bit more just kind of slightly char them because I don't really like them when they're too fresh and too crisp but I make I cook them just long enough long enough excuse me where they have a little bit of crisp to them to keep those you know um, the nutrients in and those properties that are within the vegetables and but I like to get them a little bit charred so they have a good taste so I like to add my seasonings in as you guys can see I'm using the um, sea salt here and as well as the black pepper I've also used these seasonings in previous videos and I'm gonna go ahead and stir everything up and like I said, I like to stir this for quite some time. Um, not too long, not too long. I still like a little bit of crisp to it, but I like to just kind of have it, you know, just long enough where I feel like it's the perfect consistency, the perfect taste, but I'm still able to get all of those um, nutrients that are contained within all the vegetables and stuff like that. We don't want to overcook it because I don't appreciate mushy vegetables my damn self. So I'm going to go ahead and make room so I can go and crack my egg. I like to be able to use one egg and um, then I, I don't like a super soft yolk. I kind of like it where it's a little bit hard fried, I think is how they call it. I could have that completely wrong. Please do not quote me on that. 
Um, and I'm adding in my, I believe it's a half cup of liquid egg whites and just a little bit of extra salt and pepper for taste. I'm keeping it kind of simple where I don't layer my seasonings as much as I do other dishes just because there's already so much in my scramble, right? I don't want to like over salt it. Um, plus, I did put in a little bit of salt and pepper earlier, so I'm not trying to kill it on the sodium. But um, yeah, I like to be able to scramble up my egg real small. Like I said, bite-sized pieces. I love my bite-sized pieces. So I'm just scrambling everything up, just making sure everything is well cooked because I don't like wet you know, um, I don't like wet eggs. I don't like wet egg white scrambles, anything like that. I like it to be just a little bit more dry. And so um, this is pretty much what we have here just for the scramble part. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this. And um, as you guys can see, it's just full of color. I love a good dish that has a lot of color, just a lot of vibrancy to it. It's got different vegetables. It's just different variations of, you know, uh, of everything in there. I just I love that it's healthy, but at the same time It's like you don't really feel like you're eating something that's healthy. You feel like you're eating just a regular scrambled, you know a Scrambled egg plate or whatever you want to call it um, egg scramble and so I think all the additional vegetables and stuff like that really help with it. Not just so much with the texture, but with the taste, because I like to layer things and flavor things up and whatnot. So um, with that being said, of course, I don't feel like this dish would be complete without the second part to it, which is basically the sweet potato mash. So what I did off camera was I went ahead and steamed some sweet potatoes. These potatoes definitely look like they've seen better days, but I have uh, tried to save them. Um, so I went ahead and uh, got these potatoes together and sliced them up a little bit so that way I can go ahead and mash them up into a really cool sweet potato mash. At first I was thinking I wanted to dice them, but I decided to go another way with it because they are so soft, it wouldn't have worked out very well. So I'm just sort of chopping up all the bad stuff and then keeping the good stuff. And um, once I slice these up just to kind of make it a little bit easier, that's when I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna mash them up. So that way I have a nice, easy, you know, um, sort of so side, if you will. And um, yeah, so it, I think it really came out very well. If you ask me, this is actually my first time making like a sweet potato mash on the healthy side. So I really had to, um, you know, I just really had to work with it. So. I just went ahead and mashed everything up. I just wanted to make everything uh, just super easy for me to be able to, to grab and go. I didn't really want anything I had to struggle with. But again, like I said, the quality of these sweet potatoes are not super great. But I did what I could with them because I didn't really want to toss them because it, it wasn't really time for them to go yet. So this is uh, me just preparing that side. And I like to add a little bit of cinnamon sugar just for that extra pow. But you can do like brown sugar, you can do cinnamon sugar, you can do plain cinnamon, you can do sugar if you like. Um, but that was just my sweetness of choice. Um, but this is pretty much it. This is my egg white scramble and sweet potato mash. I hope you guys really enjoyed this recipe and found value in this video. If you do, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and like the video and feel free to share it with your friends if you'd like. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.